hello guys what's up Karthik PB here welcome to my fourth tutorial today we're gonna learn string concatenation without using library functions so basically what is string concatenation here in string concatenation we are join the two strings or merge the two strings and we'll put the concatenated string into the third string so I will give an example if the first string is hello and the second string is John the result the string or the concatenated string should look like hello John so basically here we are linking the string 1 and string 2 and putting the concatenated string into string 3 so make sure that string 3 is large enough to hold the concatenated string okay let's dive into the coding section later we will come to the tracing part so that we can understand this better let's code for it hash include std error.h hash include conio.h we are done with the header part let's say to void me the string character a of 10 for string 1, b of 10 for string 2, and c of 20 for string 3. So make sure, as I told, make sure that string c, which holds the concatenated string, should be large enough to hold the result of the concatenated string. So that's the reason why I have declared it as a c of 20. And we will declare i and j now let's come to the input part enter the string 1 scanner percentage yes for strings and e in strings we are not using ampersand the scanner statements now it's time to insert the second string. Enter the string two. Scanner percentage yes B. So we are done with the input part. Now we are diving into the logic section. Follow. We will begin with the follow for i is equal to zero. A of i should not equal to now i plus plus. So I will explain all these individual steps in the tracing part. Now just stick with me. So C of i is equal to C of i increment the i. First string. Now, second follow for the second string, where b of j is not equal to. Now, j plus plus. C of i is equal to b of j. Increment the i. After everything is done we had to put the null at the end so c of i is equal to null so now it's time to print the values and so let's print the string the current concatenated string is percentage yes Now here we are done with the coding section. This is how the code looks like for the string concatenation without using library functions. Now let's trace each and individual line of this code so that we can understand it better. Okay, so what's the first step? Enter the string one. So let the string one be hello. Spaces 
here so that we can understand better. Let's put the index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now it's time to enter the second string. Let the second string be John J O H N. Let's put the index for this too. After entering the two strings, what's our next thing? So we can go back to the code. So we are done with the this two part. Now we have to initialize i and j. i is equal to zero and j is equal to zero. So I will point here. dive into this for loop now. For i is equal to 0, a of i not equal to null, i plus plus. Here a of i is not equal to null. So if this condition is satisfied, put a of i in c of i and increment the i value by 1. So string c now contains a of I in the sense H. So now we have to increment the I value by 1. <coughs> you increment it. So let's check it again whether A of I is equal to null. No, it's not equal to null. So put A of I in C of I in the sense A of 1 in C of 1. So we'll put E. Then we increment the i value by 1. Again, the i is not equal to null here. So again, put a of i and c of i. And then we increment the i value by 1. It will point to a of 3 now. a of 3 is not equal to null. So put a of 3 in c of 3. So we are putting it. Again, increment the i value by 1. It points to a of 4 now. So we will hit into for loop whether a of 4 is equal to null. No, it's not equal to null. So put a of 4 in c of 4. 0 and increment the i value. So it will point to the fifth or the null position. Now a of i is equal to null. It is equal to null. So this for loop fail and will come out of the loop and we will hit the second for loop here. So for j is equal to 0, b of j not equal to null and j plus plus. So j points to here. As we have initialized i and j, in the c of i, i will point to here. After o, i is pointing to C of I guess 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, C of 5. Yes. So once j is not equal to null, put b of j in C of i. b of j in the sense is value b of 0. It holds j. So put j here and increment the j. I increment the i value by 1 and increment j value by 1. That's what we have said in the for loop. Increment the j value by 1 and increment the i value by 1. So we are done with it. So let's check whether b of j is equal to null. No, it's not equal to null. So put b of 1 in c of i. So it's over here. And we'll increment the i j value by 1 and increment the i value by 1. So we will see now whether b of j is equal to null. No, b of j is e not equal to null. It contains h. So put b of j in c of i. So h will acquire this position. Increment the i value by 1. So we are incremented. And we will increment the j value by 1. So now b of j is not equal to null. It contains yen. 
So if that's the case, we have to put b of j in c of i. That's what we have said in the problem. So we'll put n here. And again, increment the i value by 1. So it is pointing right here. It's pointing after n. And increment the ij value by 1. So it's pointing to now. So now b of j is equal to now here. So this statement or this for loop doesn't work now. So now it will come out of the loop and we will insert null at the end of third string or the string which contains the concatenated value. So we have concatenated the strings here. Hello is the first string and John second string. Hello is the first string and John is the second string and we have added null at the end of the string. So we are done with the string concatenation tracing part here. Let's run the code and see the output. So now let's run the code. Enter the first string. to the second string John the concatenate this string should look like hello John let's see it. yeah hello John so we have concatenated the first and the second string and we put the concatenate string into the str third string so this is how the concatenate string looks like thank you guys for watching the video if you have any doubts do comment it